गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सत्यव्रत साहू एम डी डी एम क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन मोनोक्लोन एंटीबॉडीज एन एंटीबॉडी इज ए प्रोटीन यूज्ड बाय इम्यून सिस्टम टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड न्यूट्रलाइज फॉरेन ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक बैक्टेरिया एंड वायरसेस Each antibody recognizes a specific antigen unique to its target and polyclonal antibodies are antibodies that are derived from different cell lines they differ in amino acid sequence and immunoglobulins are structurally related glycoproteins that function as antibodies but monoclonal antibodies are antibodies that are identical because they were produced by one type of immune cell all clones of a single parent cell monoclonal antibodies an antibody of unique specificity is derived from single b cell clone this can be made in large quantities in laboratory and it is the cornerstone of immunology these are also termed as magic bullets coming to classification of antibodies the antibodies can be polyclonal antibodies monoclonal antibodies antibody fragments chimeric antibodies humanized antibodies bi specific antibodies what is the difference between polyclonal and monoclonal antibodies polyclonal antibodies are less expensive limited supply easily rapidly produced and high cross reactivity but monoclonal antibodies are more expensive infinite supply time consuming more technically required and low cross reactivity polyclonal antibodies produced by many b cell clones bind to multiple epitopes of all antigens used in the immunization antibody class a mixture of different antibody classes antigen binding site different antigens binding sites but in case of monoclonal antibody produced by a single b cell clone bind to a single epitope of a single antigen antibody class all of a single antibody class antigen binding site all antibodies have the same antigen binding site in case of monoclonal antibodies coming to history first monoclonal antibody was generated in 1975 by george kohler and cesar milstein both of them and nils kajan shared the nobel prize in physiology or medicine in 1984 for the discovery the fully licensed in 1986 the first licensed monoclonal antibody was orthoclon okt3 miromonas cd3 approved in 1986 for use in preventing kidney transplant rejection and It is a monoclonal mouse IgG two A antibody whose cognate antigen is CD three. Its use was limited to acute cases due to reported side effects. Human anti-mouse antibody response. First fully human monoclonal antibody Adalimumab, two thousand three. Recently, there are so many monoclonal antibodies generated and used for diagnosis and therapy purpose. so this is the picture showing the principles of monoclonal antibodies how monoclonal antibodies formed by myeloma cell splenic cell fusion in polyethylene glycol and select hybrid cells in heart medium and culture then expansion like this this procedure is very complex so this is a also a diagram of the same monoclonal antibody principle preparations and coming to the conventional production of monoclonal antibodies produced by hybridoma technology spleen cells from immunized mice are fused with the murine myeloma cells and the uh, several process had been developed at large scale according to the different cell culture methods it can classified into four fields like robotol cell culture process membrane blinded cell culture process 
माइक्रो कैरियर सेल कल्चर प्रोसेस सस्पेंडेड सेल कल्चर प्रोसेस सो इट इज वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसीड्योर देन कमिंग टू प्रोडक्शन एनिमल्स इन विवो मेथड्स आर देयर एंड प्रोडक्शन इन सेल कल्चर इन विट्रो बैच टिश्यू कल्चर मेथड एंड लॉट्स ऑफ प्रोसीड्योर्स आर देयर कमिंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ मोनोकुलर एंटीबॉडी मोनोकुलर एंटीबॉडी कैन बी नेक्ड मोनोकुलर एंटीबॉडीज दो विदाउट एनी ड्रग और रेडियो एक्टिव मैटेरियल अटैच टू देम फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्रांसटूजुमा फॉर एडवांस ब्रेस्ट कैंसर acting on her to setuximab for b cell non hodgkin lymphoma cd20 bevacizumab for metastatic colorectal cancer acting bge vascular endothelial growth factor alemtuzumab for b cell chronic lymphocytic leukemia cd52 then conjugated or loaded or labeled monoclonal antibodies coupled with drugs toxins radioactive atoms chemo labeled antibodies monoclonal antibody conjugated with chemotherapeutic agents ventuximab vedotin ad adotranstuzumab imtensin etc there are lots of monoclonal types of monoclonal antibody immune toxins conjugated with toxins denylukin diptytox and uh, it is used in case of cutaneous t cell lymphoma and many others the nomenclature now the pre 2014 inn now the nomenclature changed and uh, coming to mechanism of action uh, these are some mechanisms of the monoclonal antibodies pharmacokinetics route of administration rituximab trastuzumab adalimumab can be given subcutaneously polybizumab can be given intramuscularly infliximab intravenously Uh, and the route for elimination for antibodies by uptake and catabolism by reticulo endothelial system and target tissue half life chimeric monoclonal antibody 4 to 15 days humanized monoclonal antibody 3 to 24 days recombinant human 11 to 24 days human anti mouse antibody response develops 7 to 10 days following exposure to murine antibody Come to adverse effects of monoclonal antibodies. Uh, Next, monoclonal antibodies mild upon allergic reaction and fast infusion, cytokine release syndrome, infusion toxicity, cytopenia, conjugated monoclonal antibodies. More adverse effects depend on substances attached. Anti-lymphocyte monoclonal antibodies, immunosuppression, increased risk of infection, cancer, anti-TNF alpha monoclonal antibody, reactivation of tuberculosis can occur, lymphomas can occur. so these are the some uh, pictures showing the therapeutic monoclonal antibodies uh, and also in diagnostic procedure monoclonal antibodies can be used so coming to application of monoclonal antibody diagnostic applications monoclonal antibodies used uh, pregnancy detect pregnancy as early as week or two after conception by reacting with human chorionic gonadotropin and uh, hiv diagnostic kits rapid diagnostic hepatitis influenza herpes chlamydia corona and uh, these are some uh, applications of monoclonal antibodies in diagnostic procedures come to therapeutic uses we can use it in uh, as immunosuppression autoimmune diseases malignancies antiplatelet therapy infectious diseases asthma osteoporosis etc cancer uh, we can use uh, monoclonal antibodies future applications can fight with bioterrorism inhalational anthrax uh, raxibacumab injection uh, is used for treatment of infectious inhalational anthrax when alternative therapies have failed these are some examples of monoclonal antibodies like adalimumab uh, the it is a kind of infliximab and uh, lots of things are there application of fda approved monoclonal antibodies uh, these are some examples fda approved monoclonal antibodies
this is an article showing incorporation of bevacizumab in the primary treatment of ovarian cancer this is an article showing anti immunoglobulin e omalizumab therapy in allergic asthma this is an article published that is pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy in metastatic non small cell lung cancer this is another article alemtuzumab versus interferon beta 1a in early multiple sclerosis coming to the ethical issues prunes complete adjuvant to enhance immune response painful lesions are the injection site pristen as a priming agent granulomatous reactions respiratory distress due to ascites and uh, there are lots of ethical issues uh, as it is a complex process of production of monoclonal antibody coming to limitations uh, hybridoma technology laborious and time consuming the presence of retrovirus as a part of the mammalian chromosomes is common occurrence and uh, huge demand to increase production of these drugs and coming to the summary the monoclonal antibody production technology has revolutionized the world of biotechnology advances in genetic engineering over the years have provided numerous ways to design monoclonal antibody that are more robust and efficacious compared with their original mRNA version and it can be used for treatment of cancer autoimmune disorders graft rejections infections asthma osteoporosis etc and so many newer monoclonal are under trial phase now for future benefit this is great scientist paul elrich finally the dreams of paul elrich who considered antibodies a magic bullet have become reality monoclonal antibodies have established themselves are the most important and rapidly expanding class of drugs in oncology thanks to this person thanks to this honorable scientist who gave us magic bullets these are my references you can go through these references to learn more and more Thank you very much Jai Jagannath